station on Space to Ground. Energize. Energize. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Gary Jordan. It takes a lot of energy every day to be an astronaut, performing complex science experiments and maintenance tasks, working out two and a half hours, all while on a packed timeline. One study is making sure astronauts have the energy needed to do it all. Takuya Onishi completed the 11-day experiment called Energy this past Sunday. Throughout that time, Onishi was logging his food intake each day while occasionally collecting biological samples and measuring oxygen uptake. The energy study makes sure that through long stays in space and rigorous exercise, astronauts will have the right amounts of the right types of food for even longer space flights, like on the journey to Mars. Astronauts near the end of their turn conducting the fluid shifts experiment with a round of testing called dilution measures. Kate Rubens and Takuya Onishi began a series of tests for the fluid shifts experiment scheduled during the home stretch of the astronauts' stay on the ISS before returning to Earth. Dilution measures include collecting biological samples, ultrasound scans, eye exams, and more over several days. The ongoing fluid shifts experiment investigates potential causes of pressure in the head and vision changes during long space flights. This week's question comes from JQ, who's asking if there is a plan to add modules to the ISS and achieve a full circle. There used to be plans like this before the station was built, and we've since moved on from those concepts. But that doesn't mean we're done adding modules. Many of NASA's early designs for a space station were full circles. One concept from here at the Johnson Space Center called the Racetrack featured parallel modules connected at the ends. Over time, designs and plans changed into what is now the linear layout of the International Space Station, and new elements are still being affixed. This year, BEAM was added to test expandable module technology, and the International Docking Adapter was installed for future commercial crew vehicles to dock to. NASA recently announced the opportunity for private companies to add their own modules to the ISS in an effort to expand the commercial space business. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag SpaceToGround. We'll see you next week.